The Penguin returns to the Batman franchise with another dark voyage into the world of Gotham. Uh, the Penguin himself is delved into more deeply, uh, providing a more in-depth and innovative look into his origin and journey. Uh, Oz, uh, I was really intrigued uh, by this Penguin. Uh, really added a whole new dimension to his character. Uh, Colin Farrell uh, did a tremendous job of portraying him. Uh, can't even tell it's him. The prosthetics, the voice, the mannerisms. Um, the relationship with his uh, mother uh, assists also in adding this new element to him. Uh, a humanity that may not have been present as much in iterations of villains or this type of character. Just overall very tragic uh, all the way around uh, and brings to the foreground circumstances that people may not know about. Um, and others that people may find some uh, relation to. Really shows some of what goes on in his mind and why he does certain things like caring for his mother and making a life for himself, uh, gaining respect out in the streets of Gotham. Uh, certain points, uh, there are certain points where things do happen, uh, where his darker side does show that definitely reveals who this character is in the background of Batman, and what he had to do or felt like he had to do in order to uh, reach his goals. Uh, I'm in awesome times of some of the other characters, uh, nonchalance around him, uh, provoking him and, and the like, uh, usually to grim results. Uh, Sophia, a uh, complex and conflicted character, uh, shows how upbringing and personal connections can really affect a person, especially within uh, familial bonds. Uh, I was intrigued by her overall design as a character, uh, her aura and persona, her attire, the, the darkness and coolness she exudes. Her presence really adds to the show, uh, giving it a whole new uh, element. Uh, I was really intrigued by the Arkham segments, too. Uh, they can make a whole series based in this locale, uh, even taking inspiration from the Arkham trilogy as well, uh, as that series was pristine. Victor, a terrific addition with this character, another portrayal of humanity uh, with Oz, uh, with her partnership. You can show the hardships and intricacies of finding yourself or your place in the world, especially with those around his age. Uh, his communication difficulties also adds to his character, too. Uh, sometimes. People may try to make up for this in other ways, uh, but I don't really see this too much with him. Uh, he's able to keep his cool and stay level-headed uh, despite this. Just overall, seem like a good guy, uh, just caught up in a dark world. I have to mention the lighting too, as that really stood out to me. Uh, at times, it would kind of have a tint to it, uh, and really added to the feel and atmosphere, and uh, brought out the characters too. Uh, the world of Batman is just rich with all the themes, characters, and happenings that reside within it. The character of Batman himself is an intricate showing of so many different attributes and elements uh, like finding, discovering, and questioning oneself, justice, loss, duality, heroism. Not to mention just his overall design from his attire to his tech to his vehicles, his, his presence. This is an outstanding character in full. Not to mention all of the complex and multi-layered villains that take part in it as well. Gotham returns in full with all its dark towers, streets, and alleyways. It really is an excellent backdrop for all the different themes and happenings that take place within. Uh, interestingly, uh, Gotham is said to be inspired by New York, along with uh, Detroit and Chicago. The drug trade is one of the main focal points of the show and brings to mind what might take place or occur in these kinds of dealings or environment. How it can be highly profitable, but also bring with it dangerous repercussions. How the whole environment just seems volatile with risky situations, untrustworthy personnel, having to constantly watch your back, uh, ramifications with the law. Also brings to the foreground the idea of families or the different crime families in the city. How they're all vying for power and dominion over the other families. How they do find strength and camaraderie within each other, but along with the environment, how it still seems difficult to truly feel safe or secure. How in some ways they're just looking out for themselves, uh, trying to survive. And so some of the decisions they make seem to reflect off of that. But in this circumstance, it also carries with it uh, violence and destruction. The crime takes center stage in the show and also serves as a main theme in the city of Gotham. Some of the cities uh, with the highest crime rate are stated to be Detroit, Memphis, Birmingham, Baltimore, and St. Louis. Although it's also noted that this doesn't necessarily signify that the entire city is unsafe and these determinations can involve more complex data sets. Larceny theft is the most common property crime. Uh, aggravated assault is the most common violent crime. Crime rates have gone down significantly since the 1990s, but it's still reported to be at 380.7 violent crimes per 100,000 people and 1,954.4 property crimes per 100,000 people as of 2022. In conclusion, uh, The Penguin provides another intriguing look into the minds of one of the foes of Batman in this world of Gotham, really showing just how rich and full these characters and personalities really are. 
It also portrays significant themes like family and crime and the many occurrences and happenings that take place, making for a complete showing with layers, parallels, and complexity. The show balances all this together in a realistic and personal telling of the character maneuvering in the depths of Gotham's criminal underworld.